guys welcome back thank you once again for joining me uh, and clicking on this video if you're new here my name is Wangeza August if you're not you already know who I am welcome back I'm really excited about today's video matter of fact we have a special guest okay and that special guest is my sister it's my sister hi welcome Cezy and thank you <laughs> my sister's not gonna be on camera because she just doesn't feel like it there's no other particular reason for it she just doesn't feel like it so she's gonna be behind the camera and she's going to be giving her two cents on this topic because this topic is something at some point we both experienced at the same time and we went to the same high school so this is something that she really really relates to because she was there i'm really excited about today's video because <sighs> child it's juicy so if you guys know who I am or you grew up with me, you know that I grew up in the town of Cradock, Eastern Cape and went to CHS, right, which is a, a local high school here. Well, one of the local high schools here. Now, one thing about my town that I can tell you is that my town is old AF. My town is like old. It was founded in the 1800s. That's how old. It's actually one of the oldest, one of the 10 oldest towns in South Africa alone. Mm. Meaning that the high school year was also funded in the 1800s, right? Yeah. So and not... It was a boys' school at that time. Yeah, it was a boys' school. So not Cradock High School as you know it, but I think back then it was called Rocklands, which now is one of the, the boarding schools are called Rocklands. So yeah, my town, hella old. Hello. old okay i have with me right now a little bio that the school put out um well not the school but an article was written about my school and it has more intricate details of the history of the school i just want that part to be accurate so i'm just gonna read a small part of it um so in 1838 the cradock free school opened and in 1870 a boys school that was founded by l eaton with 20 pupils was founded in the 1900 it was moved to a new school in bree street is that our bree street yeah. no, no. no yeah not. okay uh in 1869 rocklands opened as a girls school and it takes 1875 as its foundation date so rocklands is the it's a building next to our original school building and now it acts as a um, girls boarding school unless, we also unless it was like Bree street way back and then I'm yeah i don't know that's possible can they do that, they do that? yeah i mean, I mean they named it by <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, so. only in 1972 was Cradle Boy, Boys School and Rockland, so the Cradle Boys School and Rocklands was amalgamated to form the present Cradle High School. So Cradle High School, as an institution, was founded in 1972, but technically, it's been there since 1838, or if you want to be exact, 1869. So yeah, so uh, I guess one of the things I should mention is that Cradock High School, okay, so it's Cradock High School, currently there are about 400 and something learners, last time I remember, yeah, yeah, 400 yeah. and something learners, and uh, I guess if you want to be technical, the, um, what's the, the motto is nil nisi nintendo, meaning that without, without labor, labor nothing, nothing is achieved. <laughs> We're not getting into that though. We're getting into the ghosts that exist within the creepy side. Yeah, we're getting into the creepy side. Because remember, this school is founded in the 1800s. So there's a lot of shit that went down that yeah, we experienced. Yeah, and it's bound to have its own scary little story. Dude. Because a part of the building that's still standing is uh, the building that has been there since way, way Yeah. Back. So one of the part of the original infrastructure from the 1800s is still be extended, Yeah. Be extended from then the they created. Structure. Yeah. yeah. They built the yeah. from the original. So I'll try to include a picture of the structure today as it is. Uh, I'm not sure if I will find a structure of the building back then, but they do keep documents of Ezizindo, so it's possible that I will find. I hope I do. Hopefully, because I also need to see it, because I don't know how it looked back then. Yeah, I'm curious. 
If you go to Cradock High School, for fact, for sure, for definitely, you will know about Miss Hockley. Yeah, Miss Hockley. We even have a hall named after her, guys. So, I forgot that. Yeah, so it, you know, her story is like a pretty big thing. It's like what Cradock High School is all about. You know, it's all about Miss Hockley. You know. Yeah. You're bound to know about her story one way or the other. Can I do you remember? Um, as Thomas said, what's that boys' school? It starts with a D. Yeah, yeah. They also have a, a local go- local ghost. They also have like a ghost with Scholar Sabo. So it's it's not you know okay. When I first went into Credit High School, ne, I was not very much like oh oh ghost right now. When you first go into high school, it's such a hyped up thing, ba. Oh, Miss Hockley, Miss Hockley. Okay, Manditi. A lot of schools in the Midlands or in the crew because our towns are so old. Mm-hmm. There's there's gonna be like a ghost story in one of the high schools. So I almost thought like you know, I collect like for our schools for a school to have a ghost. It's very common. Like, yeah. In primary, <laughs> being a pinky pinky in high school, yeah. you come here and they say it's Miss Hockley. Because so, at primary it was pinky pinky, and I yeah. thought pinky pinky was something that's exclusively a primary yeah. instead of just being it it being a, an urban legend. And mm-hmm. if you wanna know more about the urban legend of pinky pinky, I have a video up about pinky pinky. So go check it out, and you'll know what I'm talking about if lost. Otherwise, I thought it was just one of those things. Oh, every school has some type of. Even back then, I I didn't really believe in a pinky pinky like in yeah. primary, but primary it's so itself. It's so made you scared. Especially since primary was such a scary ass building. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the bathroom. That bitch has ghosts too, guys. The bathroom. But going on to uh, Miss Hockley, ne? Uh, Miss Hockley was like an, a legend. I thought it was like Kupinki Pinky, where it's like, okay, it's a lie that they also tell here, yeah, just like just they tell in primary. Because when you first enter high school, it's the first thing you introduce to. The, the first thing in your grade 8, uh, what do you call this? Camp. camp. It's like orientation camp. Yeah. It's the first thing that you introduce to by the matrix. And you're thinking, these bitches are trying to scare me. Yeah. Hey, then much. they take you on a tour around the school. Then you and, hear at these, night. Yeah, at night. <laughs> and then you hear all these scary, and then all these, all these noises and stuff. Mm. But you just think, I wait, you know, it's just the matrix trying to scare us. And you don't mm. think much of it. And you know, this is an old town. You hear sounds in a normal mm-hmm. house. Exactly. You hear sounds in a normal house. And people will tell you it's old building sounds and you just like okay whatever it is what it is so i'm particularly a girl is trying to creep me out eh, right? um, the first time i really started thinking about linda gummies hockley was because they we even have a hole so we have three holes we have three holes we have the police could see a hole the kiwi hole and, and the then, hockley hole yes. so i remember sitting there thinking hey man hockley as in the ghost hockey? Why would they name it after a ghost? Well, no, I thought it's because Miss Hockey died there in particular. That's why they named the whole. But then I found out that. No, no, I thought they were dragging out this. Miss Hockey. I thought now they were dragging out this whole Miss Hockey thing. Until we found out the truth. Miss Hockey was, in fact, Umdu who lived as a human. <laughs> in fact, Miss Hockey. Um, when I did my re- well, not when I did my research, but like I knew about her. The mm-hmm. teachers would always tell us about Miss Hartley. She was a principal of Rockland. So before he he, he created a boys' school and then Rockland was amalgamated to create a high school. She was the principal of the Rocklands, which was a girls' high school or girls or girls school. Um, and I believe she was super super young when she was a principal. In fact, I think she was twenty nine when she was a principal. Now the story goes that she died escolweni. Mm-hmm. If I remember correctly, yes, you see the stairs between Ihockley Hall. Yeah, when you go room. outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kutwa, that's where she died. Like on okay. those stairs, Kutwa, she died yeah. there. I just heard she died in, in a staircase. I just didn't know which one. Because was so that staircase people. that I heard from a teacher? Whether the teacher was lying or not, I'm not particularly sure. Which yeah. would make sense because. Yeah, yeah. yeah you we'll get it. We'll it. get into it because we have a story time of our own experiences with Moose Hartley towards the end of the video. Yeah, the video. But first, we want to talk about other people or the the stories that my teachers would tell us about Moose Hartley. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're getting to the fun part. Now I'm about to tell you guys of all the little stories that our teachers would tell us. Yeah. So. 
okay like, i just want to like reiterate a few things even though i knew miss hartley was someone who was a principal who did die in fact a school who said to have still have haunted his scholar like i said um almost every school up in the midlands up in the Karoo, has some type of a ghost or whatever just purely based on the fact that we are old we're old towns up in the surrounding areas so now as much as i knew about that i didn't particularly take it too hard too seriously because i'm on some whatever because i'm having an experience even though a, a big part of me do does believe in paranormal stuff but if i didn't see it i'm not gonna make a big deal out of it if i haven't experienced it i'm i'm gonna be on the lookout but i'm not gonna like take it to heart yeah take it to heart to anything <laughs> So before we get to a story time of what we experienced, because my sister was there for one of them, and then the second one where I was part of it, and my my classmates were there. And then I have my own experience with a friend of mine. Yeah, my sister has her own experience of it. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first story is... I, remember, I don't know if I should say... I'm not going to say the teacher's names. No, no, no. I'm no. not going to say the teacher's names. But it was... a. Uh, the story is told to us by a a, a a woman, right? A female teacher who had heard it from another teacher. I'm guessing this teacher entrusted this information, go yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but she told us in class. I'm not gonna even say which class it was. If you were part of my class, you know exactly who this was. So she told us that this teacher, he was come so a lot of teachers obviously would go in way past when I went on about Pumile Eskolweni, they go in, they do extra marking, they do all this extra shit, you know, just teacher vibes. And so Lotata had the reason why Lomama knew was because the sound that he heard was coming from her area of the um, the class. Yeah, the class. So in her class. Yeah. Like glad because she was upstairs. She was a class upstairs. And when you enter the school, when you look upstairs like that's where her side of the class was facing so Utlo that he walks he walks in like drives in and he's hearing like a teacher teaching and from laughter the from the outside oh, damn. so now he's looking up and he's like oh ban ban whatever i'm gonna call her screwdriver <laughs> <laughs> she's like oh screwdriver is still teaching i'm guessing she has like extra um, class. class or something and the one thing to know about this particular teacher is that he used to be my favorite teacher because he was so candid his sense of humor was so dry he was like the type of teachers to say something offensive or something that the general popular population wouldn't say and because it's him you you knew mana he yeah, was just a joke yeah it was a joke or he's doing it to get a reaction out of you so you know if you want to play with him you gotta also go down like that so anyway so he's like hmm i'm gonna go like bother her i'm gonna go like you know rile up he he was the type of teacher to like walk in and just say something stupid while someone is teaching, teaching and, and then walk out like, yeah he was <laughs> yeah. that type so he's like i'm gonna go do that to this bitch so he goes upstairs where her class is and then Otika oh, is and you know how creepy it is mm -hmm. upstairs after everything is dark. Dark, like now that I think about it, guys, there's not much natural lighting besides one window by the end of the hall, mm. and besides, and then. The so he goes near the the classroom and he notices man why is it quiet all of a sudden? And that's when he's like, "There's no one in this class." I'm just imagining like teacher that just <laughs> imagine now you opening the door and then realizing that there's not even a single person there and knowing and knowing that you heard all of that racket up from Bruh, outside you're like okay as a new class up and now i'm thinking man he probably went through all the classes upstairs and he's like i know what i heard yeah i know what i heard Can't it alone, I know. No? you know we'll be i almost said this teacher's name <laughs> <laughs> would be in the teacher that I was previously talking about mm -hmm. class, the door would close and then she'll be like, Oh ha, Miss Hartley, stop doing that. Exactly. And her <laughs> door had this thing of 
as, as if some I don't know I always say I always convince myself that it's just the wind of it like it didn't shut correctly so if there was wind it, could, it would just go like kah, 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 kah. and it should just be like oh guys it's just Miss Hockey or if a window would just suddenly decide to close you know it should just be like oh gosh it's just Miss Hockey so yeah yeah we blamed a lot of activities on Miss on Miss Hockey and once again Umnabenga study that seriously mm. at some point I was kind of getting freaked out okay I'll tell you which point I got freaked out at so the class upstairs it would also close and do all that stuff mm. right? and la mama would say oh, Miss Hockley stop it and we'll to that and student would go ha, ha, ha. and then it would actually stop so, like it would actually stop doing whatever it was doing and you're just like what the hell and from upstairs guys the only sort of wind that would force the door to do that is the wind from the windows but it's not even that windy the like it's so not what's windy. causing it what it's is bad. causing it uh, and then uh, downstairs you know the glass in telling i downstairs yeah, right yeah. Blah, blah. so downstairs ne, same thing would happen this particular with time door. with the door ne, this particular time we're all sitting in class ne. the mama is like do a reading or some shit like that ne? so we're all quiet we're all doing a reading ah uh-uh, she was talking ne? she's talking she's talking she's talking now young girl i'm it likes to happen and she'd be like oh miss hartley see miss hartley is mad now whatever oh this one day bah! again door shuts everyone in class now is like because <laughs> that mama is like Oh, Miss Hockley, man, because this was like the second time it was closing. Yeah. So she's like, Miss Hockley, man, don't do that. She goes over to the door. <laughs> door is not opening. <laughs> What's happening? I think Miss Hockley locked us in. <laughs> oh, God. I'll die in a moment. Now I'm ready to jump out this window. We're in the first floor. So I'm thinking, I'm like, no, I'm it's straight. Oh, no, I'm straight. I can just. Unless Um Sakli decides to lock the windows too. Now I'm like, and this was the last period. This was yeah. the last period of the day. So I'm like, make me make things happen because um, now I wanna leave as soon as because this school gets creepier mm. once people leave. And, and this and then she called I almost said the guy's name. Ah, you know yourself. She she called um I guess the maintenance guy from the school and he, she, she's like, okay, please open the door for us and stuff because i think her 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 purse or her your keys are in the staff room and then you know he comes and he opens he's like miss hockey again she's like yep that's why this is not the first the time i'm in happening because <laughs> the last time where it was the most recent times it had happened the the key was inside the class so she couldn't open it so it was locked from inside oh, yeah okay, okay. and i was like no nah, man that's when i started but still, I was not, you know, I was like, okay, things, like, paranormal activities are taking place, but as long as I don't have a one-on-one encounter, I'm straight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Do you want to talk about what happened to you, your friends? Yeah, okay, yeah, let me start with this one. Okay, guys, so we were in one, okay, we have two computer classes, right? So one is for the seniors and the other one is for the juniors. juniors. And this is near the, the, staircase. the staircase that Miss Hockley is said to have died. slipped and died. Yeah. 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 So um, it was near the old staircases, near. It's like, yeah. And so. Um, my friend and I, it was during the exams times, me, and I don't know what was happening in the seniors' um, computer class, me, to finish, me. Mm. So it was after school. I said, yeah, fine, we're sitting, we're chilled, <laughs> we're typing out Umsalin's letter. And then, okay, so we both, for a minute, you know, we were both reading through our pads. So we're not necessarily typing. I mean, like, she was sitting directly next to me. So we are both not. Um, typing anything so you know we didn't touch the keyboard you know we we're mm. just touching on uh, e- emails fine in the row clear row that we are sitting in the I think it was the last or the second last computer guys it's very quiet most it's after school let me remind you it's after school so as we're sitting and then all of a sudden we hear click, click, the space bar and we both look at each other and we both look <laughs> at that direction like okay i'm like so you heard that and she's like yes biz i heard that okay fine we're like you know what 
we're not gonna be stressing because we have a part to finish, you know. So we continue. I man, it pin the lender. Click clack. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <Steaming laughs> now, steaming no more, bitch. I was both looking at each other like, did that just happen? Like, you, you can. Did you guys try tell. to like see by which computer is making the it noise? It was the one in clear row that we were sitting in, but I, it was the ones there by the end of the of the, of the hall and stuff. Um, yeah. So it was it was a visible computer because it's not a big class, mostly, so you can see. Yeah. And yeah, you can tell by it's. Between those, those, between those that are just sitting mm-hmm. there. And I repeat, we were the only people there. We were the only people there. So, yo, guys, it was very scary. And I f- like, there's a different sort of feeling in that class because it's an old class. It's very old. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't have the new monitors. So everything in that class is just old. old. Yeah, well, and if you guys went to CHS, you, it's the blue class. It's, it's still yeah, blue. It's still blue. It's, it's the still blue, blue class. Uh, as opposed to the newer one that's orange. That's orange. Right that, yeah, guys, that's what my experience that I experienced with a friend during after school as we were sitting. Then a keyboard freaking started. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say something about about who are intense situations, and then Bati that they ran or they fought. Mm-mm. I feel like your first instinct for everyone is to freeze. Yeah, you especially bro, if it's a paranormal experience. Bro, because it's like you as you freeze, as you're frozen, mm. you're trying to to find a, a, a you're trying reason. to rationalize. You're trying to find a, a good reason, but okay, why could this be happening? Why could this be happening? Do it. You see, my dad. I blame my dad for this. Now, <sighs> now, I'll say. I was in the beginning the only one in my family who was really into paranormal stuff. I feel like my sisters are also right. Yeah, yeah. But in the beginning, because obviously, like I'm a bit older, I'm like four oh, and yeah. eight years older than them, right? At the beginning, I was the only one. I felt like my dad is a science man. Oh God. My dad is a science man to the point where he is low key an atheist. Like my dad <laughs> needs to rationalize, everything. logicalize everything, right? But. There are some things that even he can't explain. And this is going to be in an up- upcoming video where we talk about witches. Or is mm. it going to be... It's probably going to be a video before this one, right? It's probably going to... I'm not sure which one's going to upload first, yeah. honestly. But there are some things that even he can't, ex- he can't explain. And but inst- nevertheless, Utata gave us lang Nondoba. You need to logic- first line, find a logical, logical. explanation yeah. for a situation. So, I feel like the element of Ufriza is us trying to decide if this makes logical sense or mm-hmm. not. But I feel like, for the most part, 70% of our band were Ufriza in these mm-hmm. situations. I'm I don't care. I don't mind. I freeze. Because also, we like I don't have that moment. You I was also like I don't. So, you first want to see if there's a reason why I should be running. Like, what is causing you <laughs> a lot? So, I can tell you guys about our experience together. Because oh, right. that shit broke me. That for me is the one that tops the cake. <laughs> okay, I'm getting, I'm getting chills just by thinking of that day, of that morning. Yeah, ne? Let me paint this picture out here for you guys so that you understand our mentality. You understand. You understand How everything. The school huh? is mm-hmm. so that you have a more a visual picture because we can't be breaking into our old high school with study pictures guys i will <laughs> like it's not gonna happen so and i remember it's like is the top yes i think it was fate type of thing because okay in the mornings ne, in the mornings it transported to usually it is tata unfortunately late ne, but usually by the time my sister and i arrive it's called when our friends are there yeah. and i'm gonna name drop this time because this is my bitch michali Michali was my one one close friend in high school. Um and usually I'd find Umichali there because Michali be full yeah. transport like it went early. But this particular day, Michali yeah. hadn't arrived to school. And in. my friends were also on They day. also weren't there. It was pretty empty. Mm, yeah. It was almost very empty. Yeah. But by the time Puma okay, but anyway, yeah, we'll, but get anyway. we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Students, yeah, it was pretty empty. It was pretty empty. There were hardly any students, but pe- students were starting to arrive. This for us was not a norm, like I'm trying to explain. But so early that we would our friends are not there, yeah. right? 
so I remember I said Maskrite is Klesha by just walking around the school. No, and you also had to go to the office. You also had to go to the office. So I was like, let's do all those things. So we go to the office and then we're we like, arrive. it's still early. Yeah, because our office opens, I think at 7 a.m. Yeah. And then we arrived way earlier than that. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty early and this was... It was cold outside. It was cold. So like, you know, no. Sasa, when there's still fog, like... It down here to likes having fog, especially where we live, because we live up a hill. So get on what you fog. So we're just like, hey man, we'll stay inside, cause outside it's very People, chilly, yeah. right? We'll stay inside. Now I remember, I don't even want to name drop these teachers, so I can't really tell you which classroom, by the staff room. The yeah, it was the the class directly opposite the staff room. Mm. By the staff room, you was a bunch of a plex partner that show like all oh, the head girls throughout the year, the head boys throughout the year. So we were looking at a plaque, and I remember, I remember, I'll never forget. We were specifically looking at the head girls plaque because I was like, P where Jonga was this was our first black head girl, and I remember ranting something about, can you believe our first black head girl was like in twenty? It was like. 20 it was i was in grade 8 when we had our first black head girl and this school has been here since 1979 like so my sister is looking my sister's my sister's you? looking i'm looking at it now yeah, but you're I'm also looking directly behind you eh, where you also looking to each other, I was like somewhere behind you eh, where you're kind of looking at every, she's kind of looking at everything i'm showing her now, and she's also looking at the pictures because i'm like oh did you see this teacher when she was young because a lot of our teachers were students in our school mm-hmm. so i'm like ah did you see a certain teacher when they were young ra, 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 ra. by this time you start hearing footsteps and this is by the the, the staff room and by the kitchen like you wanna go by the the right, but mm. the walking the sound of walking had been happening yeah because that's when we thought it was um, a teacher who likes walking very fast coming from her class upstairs mm. going down the stairs mm. Mm. Yeah. so there's a particular teacher who likes to walk very fast <laughs> so we were thinking it's her and we're like ah She's in a hurry, like usual, whatever. I love her. So we're like, ah, it's her. You know, she's got plenty of energy. She's, she's, she's walking. Ah, it's ah. like a hill. You can hear that it's a hill. Eh, hey, where? Ta, 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 ta. A hill, a dibene. Ubi zandoni, he's tender. A hill, a dibene. That's very... Like someone who walks very with a... Like tan. Yeah. Tan, tan. Tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Commerces. So we ignore it, you know. And I would remember thinking in particular, like, ugh, just all booze, I just all booze, I sense I don't up, and I don't feel like kumsha this early. Yeah, I'm speaking to a teacher. I'm, I'm speaking to a teacher. You need to be like, hello, hello, and you need to like, you know, smile, it's smile, cold, guys. and it's freaking freezing, and we're here early. The office won't open. We're like, kind of annoyed. We're like, oh, and I remember in my mind, practically. Prepping myself to be greeting a greeting teacher. a teacher, and then they don't show up. So I'm like, but the guys, the footsteps won't stop. The so footsteps won't stop. And to to make it more clear for you guys, um, our our, yes, our wooden flooring eh, only starts at a, at a particular point. Oh, and then even so tile. It can't, they can't be working for like. At a whole minute and them not showing up mm, and the, the the footsteps we're hearing were clearly on a wooden tile yeah. i mean a wooden floor not a tile so we're like okay and i remember at some point Yangoku, it stopped for a minute mm-hmm. and then we started hearing it from the computer class yeah so i was thinking okay that teacher probably walked into that side where cookie locker rooms mm. and like okay that teacher was probably i don't know bitch i was making shit up in my head to make to find logic in it and keep in mind we're not speaking to each other we're not speaking to each other but when we talked about this later clearly we're thinking the same same thing thing. but But we're not speaking to each other when all of this was happening can you communicate it to key where that i am thinking thinking this or this is something that's bothering me we were quiet the whole time we were just looking up you know you can't even have your phone out because the teacher will be like why are your phone in school so we are not like particularly pressing your phone we would just kind of say in case a teacher shows up and we're waiting for the freaking office to open <clears throat> so, so they stop for a brief moment and then we start hearing them from that side mm-hmm. yeah that's when i was like and then 
when we were hearing them getting from the opposite side, they were much faster. They were faster. Like, like okay, Lomdu is like in a hurry. So I thought Nam Shama it's someone who is going up and down like Kalizin to like, you know, uh, fixing like something. Pacing sort of sort of Yeah. Uh, like so now say. um at this particular moment, ne nah, <laughs> at this particular moment, I'm still looking at the thingies. Ne? I'm hyper aware though of the stairs. I mean, of the walks. And at this moment, when the walks were coming faster, I remember I'm not a pure. At the same time, we did this. We looked towards that. Direction. We looked towards the direction because of the sta- of the steps. They were so close. They were you, so close. You feel like there is a teacher here. You feel like. I felt like the moment I turned, I would see a teacher. Like mm. that's how close they were. So I'm like, Mishan, and there was a Ukon presence, man, because you there was a presence. Like we wouldn't just have turned, you know, like eh, well, if we felt like I remember even looking up. I'm like, is, is it possible they, for upstairs, 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 for you to hear them that closely? Ne? I'm I'm looking now. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uzo, yeah. so this person is it's gonna show up. Gonna show up from the staircase because we were able eh, to see well, them clearly. Either from upstairs or from this direction, but like somewhere. Because scientifically, that shit make, doesn't make sense. Ne? Cool. Just keep in mind, we're still not speaking to each <laughs> we're other. We're still not speaking to each other, but after discussing we're it. We're still thinking the same thing. We both looked at that direction at the same time. So I I tell my sister, oh, I don't tell my sister anything. Ne? Uh, I'm looking. And now, ne? I'm feeling like Lom to like subconsciously I can hear it is there. They're almost like they're, they're here, they're by passing us. by, right? But I'm not looking. Eh, eh, because we both could tell that they're passing right like behind it's you because like I was behind who her. Who passed by, ne? Eh. And then I become aware of pacing mm. behind me. It's almost like um to like it's two kids. That's how I call it. I don't know how to say it in English. Someone um, oh, it's two kids. Yeah, like someone just annoying you someone by Someone annoying me by you, you know, you know, now when you're in a situation where all of your friends, you're all sitting, but there's that one person standing, and the person's like standing and talking, and it's just like, when there's two tears, like you're annoying me, can you sit down like the rest of us? Now? It's almost like that feeling of, and, uh, and I and thought, those steps were like directly behind us, they didn't go any further, they yeah. were literally just pacing. Um, right in my head, us. the footsteps now behind me are my sisters, and the pacing behind me is my sister, so I go. People, are reminding about when they took tears, like stop thinking this thing of pacing, that it's me. thinking that it's my sister. And so I'm like, people, can you tell me when they are pacing? And my sister goes, she's like, this side, she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, bitch, you're next and to me. And then in that <laughs> instant, guys, the footsteps are now from the cat class, ne? The um, computer class. The computer class. So they from that side. And then we're both looking now at that direction because we like, both heard those footsteps. Because I remember being all like, of a sudden, they were like, bah, bah, even faster now, coming towards us. There's the ballet. Ah, yes. They were running. We ran. When I tell we you we ran, ran. they were like, bah, 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 bah. right after I said to my sister, stop annoying me with that pacing. And my sister then said, I'm not the one pacing. Yeah, then we directly. The footsteps went from. When I tell you we ran, my bitch. <laughs> when I tell you we ran, my bitch. <laughs> we ran towards the door, towards the entrance. So we ran towards the exit. Yeah. We ran all the way towards the exit of the building because we were like, we're not doing this today. Today is not the time. The time is not the time at all this. In. In until we were like somewhere enclosed. Like there a were different no sound universe. Besides the footsteps, there was absolutely the footsteps. no sound. The way to ex- the way I explained it to my mom, Goku was telling my mom about this thing is that you know when you close your, your ears like this, you see how muffled sounds were. It was like in the oh, no. too were like that, no? oh, no. but the only thing we could hear clearly yeah, were the footsteps. footsteps. I didn't hear anything else, guys. We didn't hear anything else besides the footsteps and besides hearing on you say about you babe. Stop that. Yeah. So, you know, when the sound becomes clearer after doing this, when we left the building, it was like someone did this. Boom. And then all of a sudden, this activity. Then we heard the learners screaming, ah, 
like and and speaking about to be like na guys and you know how People it is most in the morning like, when you're meeting your friends it's just like you're telling stories from last night or yesterday after school people are screaming some boys were chasing each other look at fresh there's I, light can we just speak about that there's light because inside it was, it was like dark and dingy it was just mm. weird and the moment you caught us like we both looked at each other like we both looked at there's each other light there are people because singing it in the court only like four or five students four or five students and then saying it in the pocket and then we didn't hear other students and stuff then boom next Got thing classy panje, they were like damn near 50 people outside they were making noise guys noise we didn't hear when we were inside and you know how the students are you know what kids are eh, we? oh teti like even mm-hmm. i was like in a normal uh, tone you're like hey you know what yo i remember we and after we left anything. and there was light there was air there was noise and everything I literally we went looked to at cry, each other guys. i wanted to cry because our I eyes were glossy like, what the hell just <laughs> happened in, in our uh, our eyes were like and glossy. i got when i got to our friends they were like hey, what, what's up with you and i was i was out of breath i felt like i can't like i i, I didn't believe what just happened you i didn't was know how like, to explain it i don't think i even told me proper proper friends. I think I told her like I was like no I just heard I, I just experienced something weird I think I, I said something like that I didn't say anything because I'm just saying to go along if you explain that then because my friends mm. some of my friends are like those who don't believe in ghosts and stuff so not even with that guys but just trying to explain the situation mm. you know? it really did feel, feel like we were in a separate dimension like not even a parallel universe because that's something different but it's almost like there were two universes that were like that somehow merged when they were not supposed to merge and we walked into mm. a different world and then all of a sudden we were whew, it broke the seal when we went outside i don't know how to explain it i don't know if there's even an explanation but it's the way that i'm trying to convey well, and we were not that freaking early there were like five other students we were not ridiculously but early it, so happened it was before that seven yeah it was just a few minutes before seven but it so happened that not even a single teacher was at school. not even one yeah, okay, it's not even one that we saw powerful let's say like that. yeah i felt like so, it was yeah. meant to I don't know if it was meant to happen. I don't know. It felt like we were picked. <laughs> mm, mm, to experience I don't that. like that because there's another story that's coming up but with my next video where I felt like I was literally picked for that mother freaking house and I don't like that shit. Eat it for the but I it want to say one thing, Ne. Una, I'm a great believer. I believe my intuition to the fullest. And if my flight or fight says, flight, bitch, cuckoo. And then I think it was a good thing we flew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it was a good we thing we flew. Think to, and, what, we didn't tell each other. We didn't tell each other about let's run. It we happened at the same did. time. <laughs> we knew that. So we started and so it's my own. Because the bullet that we're not about to tell them to balance the trees. We have footsteps like Nancy doing says yes. So hi, yeah. hello, hey guys. But. Yeah. yeah, so the, that's the story of the ghost of my Whether high school. Believe God, Whether, Whether you, you believe, believe it or not. Or not. Like, it but it's our truth. It happens. And you take it however you want to take it. But and I just want to say, I just want to say before we close things off. Yeah. The school, anyway, the moment it, you, after the moment 2 o'clock hits, mm. it, the school automatically feels different mm. inside. Yeah. Vibe changes. But it's a so it was a different sort of feeling being a mm. um, being a prefect last year, eh? and yeah. taking the grade eights into to the grade eight camp, and then giving them the tour mm. eh, of the school and stuff. It was dark, guys. I think it was midnight the moment we entered, mm. but it wasn't as creepy mm. as then that day. Mm. It was hot here, literally. That's why I'm out. saying that I feel like we were targeted mm. because it's it not doesn't day, usually yeah. happen. So why now, all of a sudden, you feel some type of way? But other than that, nah, I'm I'm very happy that that got to happen because now, you know, I have proof that Miss Hockey is. Yeah, I think we'll target takeover. I'm believing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. 
anyway thank you guys so much this video must have been hella long i don't know how long it's gonna be hopefully not too long but i hope we had you guys captivated throughout the whole video i hope you enjoyed the story i'm gonna be doing like uh i don't wanna okay i'm probably gonna call it a series because i am gonna be doing some true crime stories but i'm gonna be doing a series through the ghosts of yeah. kradok the ghosts and... of kradok and i have my own personal story time with that and my sister is going to be here with me with for them all the ghosts and creepy weird ish especially the most likely the upcoming one because i was she was there she was there from this this the middle-ish the statish mm. she was there so she can vouch for me that i swear to god I'm not lying, guys, about these things because I sometimes me even I was like if I heard these from someone else I wouldn't believe them. But mm -hmm. yeah, so we're gonna be doing a series of ghosts of Kradok, but then I'm also gonna be moving along to the different ghosts of the different towns around me because, like I said, we have different uh, ghosts and we have very old towns surrounding Kradok, and they all very very old uh, town very very old towns with their different histories aka so so forth forth <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys for joining us for this video please follow me on instagram for more interaction if you want to continue the chat about the ghosts please comment and if you guys have your own stories like, yeah oh, share your own share. stories like what the hell no, i personally enjoy scary stuff like mm -hmm. i receive gratifications just from reading about these things especially if people experience them firsthand and yeah. feel vile about it like this video share it to your pals and subscribe <laughs> bye bye